guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, as you all know that we have a mentorship program from Microsoft called Microsoft Engage program. So today we have with us a special guest. Her name is Anshika Jain, and she has been a recipient of this mentorship program from Microsoft. Let us hear from her about her journey, how she applied, what all is the process of this program, and finally, how can one grab a full-time opportunity at Microsoft? But before that. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, I have a Telegram group where I keep on sharing off-campus opportunities and updates about my new videos that are coming up. So make sure that you join. The link is there in the description below. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. Hey Anshika, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy and glad. And first of all, congratulations for getting the mentorship program from Microsoft called Microsoft Engage. Thank you, Bansi, for having me. Yeah, so uh, I think without any further ado, let's start with your interview on this whole program and, and the process that you went through. First of all, we would love to know your uh, short introduction in your own words uh, about how has your schooling been and from which college do you belong. Yeah. Okay, so hi everyone. I'm Anshika and I am a pre-final year student at Delhi Technological University. So I'm pursuing software engineering currently. I was a part of Microsoft Engage program the last year, and I'll also be interning with Microsoft in the summer of 2022. I've also been part of Better Developers, so yeah, that was also quite a good experience. But today we'll know about Microsoft Engage. Yeah, sure. So um, first of all, Anshika would love to know that from where exactly did you got to know that Microsoft Engage there is a program, there is a mentorship which from which on which I can actually apply and yeah want to know the initial journey journey शुरू होने से पहले what actually was the scenario okay. so uh, I knew about Microsoft like from my second year beginning of my second year itself because there were many seniors in my college only who were selected in that so I knew that there is something called as Microsoft Engage program that that happens and uh initially it used to happen like in march and the applications used to open in february so uh, i asked from my seniors what it, what it is about and i kept a check on uh, microsoft career page that when the applications will open and even on linkedin i was active during that time but in my year what happened was that the applications were released a bit late so i got to know about the engage program from my college groups only like the tnp group of my college so okay. that is where i got to know about uh, the microsoft engage program okay so once you got to know you must have filled the form right and then yeah. i would love to know what were the rounds and how was the whole program structured uh, yeah like the selection process mainly okay so uh, in my time the selection process was like very simple Uh, all of us were allowed to give a preliminary test. So there was this test, uh, which consisted of both the objective questions and the subjective questions. So by subjective questions, I mean that we were required to write some pseudo goals okay. of the basic questions, like how to implement the minimum stack and all. So that was the test that were that we were required to opt for. And after that test, we were directly selected for the program. So it was just a one simple step process, but This time, uh, like uh, they have changed the selection process in Engage twenty twenty two, right? Yeah, in Engage twenty twenty two. So there are uh, two preliminary rounds. So the first round that has already happened, it consisted of like ten objective questions, and whosoever qualified that round was to appear for the second round. Now in the second round, I guess that is about to happen, and it is a coding based round. So in that round, uh, people uh, are required to write the pseudo codes. So even in my college, I got many queries on how to write pseudo codes and how to attempt such type of questions. So one tip I have for all of the people who will be like attempt attempting this second round is that don't uh, write the whole code because mostly all of us we have a practice of writing the whole code and we don't know how to write a pseudo code. So what you have to do is write just write only the logic part. Don't implement the whole function or anything, and you can go and visit GFG, and therein you can refer that how to write pseudo codes. It will really help you a lot. Because in our time, what happened, the main problem that um, most of us faced was that people were not able to complete the test. 
because they were writing the whole code like they didn't know how to write the pseudo code so uh, that, that is one uh, my advice that don't uh, go into writing the whole code just practice right, writing pseudo codes in advance and try to complete uh, your test before time so it will help you like it will increase your chances of being selected for the final engage program okay so after this program like after this round the in your case we'll just dis- we'll still discuss that you had one uh, round which was consisting of the uh, the mcqs and as well as the uh, the pseudo codes right after that was what what was the process did you had any interview or straight away to the mentorship so in my time there was like straight away selection we all received the mail who or uh, whoever was selected received the mail that you have been selected for engage program so there was no interview for that and then the program was started the mentorship program started so that okay. was just one step process in our time and i guess okay. in this time also there will be no interview it would it is just a two round process and then after that second round people are going to be finally selected for the program okay so i wanted to know that when does this program happen and what's the duration of this program so uh, this program is uh, like the duration of this program is just one month okay so for me it started during june and it lasted the whole june so that it began from 2nd of june and it uh, like completed on 2nd july so the duration of that was one month and this time as per my knowledge the program will be starting from may itself and okay. i guess the duration has kept the same that it would be of one month only okay so once you got selected and you received the mail what was uh, the whole process the onboarding and how how is all of this mentorship program actually conducted uh, yeah so after being selected like uh, what happened was like we were required we were uh, required to check the is hacker site of microsoft daily for the upcoming uh, calls and all so they included the whole schedule of the program how like the onboarding call and when the program is going to start when will be allotted the mentors all of that that is uploaded on their website they upload a tentative schedule of everything on their website so like for if if there is any confusion we can always mail them even in our time if we had any queries or any doubts about anything the people were very friendly and even we got such quick replies from their team so like if you have any doubt regarding that you can always mail them they'll reply for sure and for the schedule you can go and check their website uh, after the final selection is done they'll upload the schedule you'll have your first introductory call in which they're going to tell you about the mentorship program that uh, what is going to happen how you'll be divided into various groups and like in our time we were all divided into a group of 7 and for that one group we were all allotted two to mentors for that one group so they they tell this all that in that introductory call that happens in the start of the program okay after that program we are allotted the mentors uh, the the groups are made on the like in our time it was made on the microsoft teams chat so uh, it was made there so we had to join the groups we had to the our mentors were added there we had to interact with them so after the introductory call there are various uh, meetings they keep various workshops uh, related to the topic so in our time what uh, the challenge was that we had to develop a team of microsoft clones up a clone yeah. of microsoft <laughs> teams up. Sorry, sorry yeah yeah got it clone of microsoft teams up and uh, we were not required to exactly replicate it we were just Uh, like require that the bare minimum we had to do in that one month was to implement the video calling feature and we were told that any other feature that we implement was uh, giving us extra points like there was no competition as such uh, like there were no winners but it was sort of a uh, like thing they said to motivate us to make more better Projects. projects so, so uh, was this project a group project that as you told that you were divided into group of 7 right like 7 people in one group yeah so it was not a group project we were just divided into a group of 7 so that it is easy for the mentors yeah, uh, like 
two two mentors were allotted to a group of seven. So mentors were there to help us. So to guide so that, to make this project to help us to guide us. Achha. Because okay. even this problem, even I faced this problem. Like in the initial beginning of the uh, this mentorship program, I did not know the tech stack that was required to develop okay. it. So even I had to learn learn it on the way while developing the project. So like they they are there every every time, which whatever doubt we have, they are there to guide us. So that is why we are allotted mentors. And even uh, there are group sessions that uh, that happen every week with your mentors. And then there are one on one meetings that you have. Oh, nice. So, so that is not a group project. That was more of an individual project. We had to implement the whole thing individually. Every se- every seven of us had to complete our individual projects. Okay. And uh, what about the duration? Like, were you in this whole program? In this whole program, the timings were like whole of the day, or there were certain times or schedules that were given to you. So uh, there were no as such short term deadlines that we uh, needed to come up with. Like it was our project. The deadline was that you had to complete this project uh, in just one month. Okay. Whatever pace we want, we done it that way only. There was no as such pressure from our mentors or any anyone. Like we did it. We did everything on our own pace. The one uh, extra thing that was there in our time was that. Um, they kept the surprise element they said that they'll be releasing one extra feature that we had to implement in the last week okay so uh, it was like a kind of motivation so that we complete our uh, given program in 3 weeks and in that last one week we were required to implement just that one feature so that was kind of a motivation and a push so that all of the students were able to complete the, the whole project in 3 weeks and we were even able, able to implement the whole project in 3 weeks Yeah, yeah so um okay that that's so great and that's so cool that you get to interact with the uh, Microsoft you know mates and the people that are working with there wanted to actually know like uh, so were all of the people who got selected for Microsoft engage program do get selected for the internships that they say that you can get after uh, engage program so first of all they never promise anything in the beginning of the program even in our time they said that we are not sure okay. that uh, you will be offered in internship or not so it is always a dicey situation right like right. even i was not, i was not sure that i'll be getting an internship after that after this or not but i did it anyway and i gave my 100% in it because i found the work interesting and i found it really very nice to interact with uh, people, people from microsoft as they really experience and it was really nice to interact with them yeah and secondly uh, all the people who were selected in the engage program they got a chance to interview for the intern okay not all of them were selected but yeah all of them got a chance to interview with so uh, uh, so you actually get to meet and have an interview separately for internship process or is it just on the basis of what you made the project inside the mentorship program so uh, like what happens is that uh, after the end of the project your mentor is supposed to give your review about uh, how you performed in uh, in the whole duration of the mentorship program and based on the review given by your mentors uh, there are uh, the number of rounds are for the interview are decided upon that okay. so uh, generally if you know the internship in the interview for the internship in microsoft the process is like there are two to three tech rounds and then there is one hr based round correct so the number of rounds people had depended entirely upon the review given by the mentors okay i had only one hr in- interview and i was directly selected because my mentor gave a good uh, feedback for me but okay. there were people who had two to three tech rounds and then an hr round after okay. that and then they were selected for the internship so it is like advisable to give your best interact with your mentors a lot like keep them updated of what whatever work you are doing right. ask them interact so that in the end you get a good review from your mentor so uh, And, what i got to understand is each one of you get an opportunity to actually you know get a seat of internship but yeah it also depends upon how you perform in the mentorship programs to actually decide the number of interviews that you're going to have for the internship process right yeah and also uh, it is kind of a good opportunity that you right. get definitely because, um, 
we got to interview with Microsoft even before Microsoft came on campus for hiring. Right. So it was kind of an extra extra opportunity that we got to in, to interview with Microsoft. That's that's absolutely great. So, uh, Anshika, this one last question that I have for you is: What tips you would suggest? Uh, to the fellow aspirants of Microsoft Engage program, because as you know, Engage program is one of the gateways through which people can actually get full time opportunity or maybe some internship programs, right? So, yeah. uh, want to know after actually experiencing whole of the journey and from your experience, what do you think, point wise, that students should should actually focus on uh, before getting into like from whole of the procedure? Ki, from learning DSA to you know step by step. So, what do you think the points should be, and people should keep in mind while getting into this program? Yeah. So, uh, my first advice would be uh, for the test that uh, that is going to happen soon. So, I would like to advise all of the people that revise your basics, keep your basics strong. Don't like focus on the advanced data structures, thinking that uh, the test is going to be based on graphs and like dynamic programming like our mind is usually like structured that way that cover right. the hardest part first and don't look over the basic part so that is my advice first that please revise your basics like focus on sorting star queues like these data easy data structures so that you are able to attempt the questions when they came because the questions were of easy to intermediate level they were not that hard and practice writing pseudo code because okay. we don't have a practice of writing pseudo code. A lot of people life. kind of confuse between you know coding and pseudo coding. They actually not yeah, even exactly. know ki what does pseudo code mean. That is a very great yeah. point you added. Yeah. In my time also, people wrote the whole code and that consumed a lot of time. time. Yeah. So please practice writing pseudo code. See how to write pseudo codes for that and cover well for your basic parts. That is my advice and. Uh, coming to the second advice, after being selected, you will be uh, seeing various challenges that you will be working on. Like this time, they have three challenges. So it might happen that you don't know tech stack of the projects that you need to work upon. So it may be kind of overwhelming for you at the first. Like you might think that the intern season is going to start, the companies are going to come from July or August onwards, and you don't have much time. You have to prepare for DSA as well whether or not you should like continue in this mentorship program like even I had all of these questions in my mind when all of this was happening with me so uh, I would like to say don't give up please take this mentorship program very seriously like even if you're not getting an internship opportunity after that this is a really good learning experience nice. you actually get to interact with people from Microsoft and that is a very good opportunity and that is one in a lifetime experience that we're going to True. experience like how and you are going to learn a lot from them in just one month so I would say that please don't give up if you don't know things you can still learn and um, uh, you can always learn and you can work upon and you'll really enjoy working that one month when uh, you'll face challenges and when you will like uh, overcome those challenges it would be a really good feeling at the end of the program when the whole project is implemented and you have to make a video demo and you have to submit everything no? so that is a very overwhelming feeling that you get at the end of it right and thirdly uh, i would like to say that uh, if you are worried about your dsa prep for <laughs> the upcoming turn season you can always manage that like you just have to um, follow like even if you are practicing DSA one or two hours daily and practicing four to five questions, then 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 also it is okay. And uh, like it is a only one month duration program, you will have the whole June with yourself, so you can study that time. Just don't uh, like don't leave practicing questions. Even if you are practicing two or three questions per day, that is also okay. Just don't leave practicing. And also the last advice of mine is interact with your mentors and in help your fellow teammates if you are divided into a team because uh, that is really very important people in Microsoft encourage helping each other a lot like okay. please help your teammates if they are stuck somewhere help them help them resolve their errors this is a way that you will learn too so uh, it would leave a good impression on your mentors and you will learn things and also you will get to know other people too 
So interact with your mentors and interact with your fellow teammates and help them out. Yeah. Thank you so much, Anshika. That was a great tip that you gave. Ki, you know, actually help your fellow teammates. A lot of people are self-centered. They think that you know, getting up my whole project done is more, more, you know, focus. Part. That is a thing that should not come between exactly. this. That uh, let's not help that person make so this or yeah. project. I'll get selected <laughs> if that person is not able to complete the project. So please don't let these thoughts come into your mind because the more you help. that is going to benefit you only think exactly. of that way even even the recruiter or the person the mentor i'm so sorry the mentor would also see right ki or engaging yeah, with exactly. the recipients and these are things that actually get into minds of these mentors your mentor well. keeps track of everything that you're doing every work even when you're helping people i used to help like my mentor specifically asked uh, me to help one of my teammate and i agreed to it even if i didn't have much time with me because even I had to learn many things while uh, right, this, right, right. but still I agreed to help because I knew that is going to benefit me in the long way. Right, definitely, so, definitely. Like, please make yourself available for others too. Yeah. So that's all for this interview. I wish you all the best for the future endeavors and your internship at Microsoft as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Mansi, and all the best to everyone who will be interning for the second round and for the mentorship program. All the best. Thank you.